What's up, bitches? Today we're going to scam Cleo's closet. Hi, it's me filming the intro for this video like three days after I did the video. Basically, what I was doing to explain that further. I wanted new clothes, but I didn't want to have to pay a lot of money for new clothes. By new clothes, I mean clothes that are new to me, thrifted from Plato's. Plato's Closet is essentially just like a thrift store for young people. You can buy and sell clothes there. You can sell your clothes that you currently own and get new ones. My goal essentially was to get the most amount of money possible to spend on clothes at Plato's because that's where I buy a lot of my clothes anyway. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. I don't know about you, but like, I feel like they've not taken a lot of items that are in style. They tell me my clothes are too raggedy or just not in style. And that's false. One time I took an Urban Outfitters shirt that I got on sale and never wore. It was new with tags on it. And they told me that my clothes were too raggedy and out of style. And I just bought it. Today we're going to take one box of clothes to three different places and test out the Plato's Closet algorithm. And I'm gonna show you some of the items that are gonna be put in here. You know, we should probably put the more desirable things on top. So I have a pair of Adidas and some Converse. They don't take this bra, I'm gonna scream because it's my favorite bra in the world and it doesn't fit me anymore and I can't wear it. Somebody has to. So yeah, that is everything that I'm taking to different Play-Dohs. First, we're gonna get coffee because I need it. And then we're gonna go to the first Play-Dohs. But the point of this, I this is all inspired from a girl that I saw on TikTok. She took the same box of clothing to three different stores and like to see what they took, but like refolded the clothes every single time. And she made like a hundred bucks. And I also really wanna go thrifting. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. Also like, I feel like I've been wronged by Play-Dohs so many times that this is okay. It'll just even out the score. But yeah, let's get it. Okay, so I've arrived, as you can see that right there. <sighs> I'm feeling very excited. My skin looks so good, and so does my makeup. I'm having a good day, I feel good about myself. I think I'm pretty today. I like my outfit today. But yeah, hot girl summer is it's already working! This picture presents me shopping in the store. So I am back and I am hunching down because I cannot get in frame. So I just went to the first of three Plato's closets. For the first thing, I got $36, and then I spent $32 on new clothes. That's kind of why I like Plato's closet, because you can kind of like trade your clothes, you know? Why does anybody pay full price for a lot of things? Even after I spent money, they still owed me, so now I have two extra dollars. Anyways, this is what I got. So a long time ago, I lost this sweatshirt that I got when I went to Holland Beach in Michigan, and and it was like, it said like unsalted or something on it. And I just thought it was really funny. But then somehow it got lost and I still haven't found it. So I found this shirt and it's a boy's shirt and it's the same color and it has the same vibe to the sweatshirt. So like this is definitely something that's giving me serotonin. Next, also from the boys section. I got this Polaroid shirt because it's really big and it's really cool. Next, I got this really cool shirt from Fashion Nova. It's black and white tie-dye. It says, your opinion doesn't pay my bills. So much serotonin went into my head when I got this. Next. I found this soft black t-shirt that just says vibes on it. At first I thought the shirt said on it and I thought it was funny so I picked it up and then I uh, noticed it said vibes and I bought it anyway. But yeah, it's really soft. And last but not least, on clearance, because their clearance was 50% off, so that means I got this shirt for $3. There is a 21 Pilots shirt and I'm gonna crop it a little bit. Anyway, I have new clothes and more serotonin and that's all that matters to me right now. All right, now let's refold everything. All right, the box is folded and I am setting off to the next Plato's closet. I'll talk to you when we get there. This yellow Kia Soul represents me driving from one location to another. We're at the next Plato's closet. See? Uh, let's see that. The last time I was in this parking lot, I found out that somebody was using my pictures to catfish 
women on Tinder. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, but that's my only memory of this parking lot. Let's go in and either get some more money or more clothes. This picture presents me shopping in the store. I bought things again. So at this store, they took like nothing. They only gave me $9.25 for four items apparently. And then I had a shirt that I found and I already have a Pink Floyd shirt. I'm aware of that, but this one is black and I can crop it and it like looks really cool and it's soft. Like you cannot trust me to be in control when there are band t-shirts around. Let's refold the box again. This yellow Kia Soul represents me driving from one location to another. I have arrived at the third Play-Dohs. I'm holding my camera below me because I'm too scared to put it on my dashboard right now because there's so many people around me. I don't know if I can say this on the internet, but like, I definitely saw a guy doing a line of pain in his car on the drive here. That was kind of scary. All right, goodbye. This picture presents me shopping in the store. Okay, finished it. Firstly, there was a girl who made my life a living hell in high school in there working, not just there, she was working. So I had to like, I had to time out like, when I was gonna go to the register because I didn't want her to be my cashier and I successfully did it. I did such a good job and we made eye contact and I'm really glad we both just left each other alone. It's not that I'm scared of her, it's that I like wanted to, I wanted to like just stay away. I bought stuff in here too, big surprise. And they gave me $13 here on clearance and their clearance is like 50% off right now. So that's cool. There's this shirt, the texture, it's just like a mauve varsity shirt. Is that what these are called? The ones with the stripes on the sleeves? And it's like really baggy and like loose. And the fabric has such a weird texture to it that it's like unsettling to me. Next. I got this striped shirt, it has a pocket, and it's kind of an optical illusion on camera because it's stripes. Cool. And then last, I got this Stranger Things tank top, and it has a little embroidery of the four boys, and I just thought that was really cute. I feel like I got my money's worth. Out of pocket today, the only thing I- I only paid like $2 out of pocket for all these new clothes. So that's pretty dope. Here I am again! Yeah, all in all, this was a good experience. I got a lot of clothes for the amount of money that I made off of selling them and then buying new clothes again at Play-Dohs is this number right here. I also forgot to mention that they do this thing called like brands in demand where they'll give you coupons to their store for brands that you have in demand. Yeah, basically I got two $5 off coupons in addition to that. So I have two months to use these and I most definitely will. But yeah, that's how you uh, scam Plato's closet into giving you money. You just go to like three of them and strategically place your items in your box or bag or whatever you brought so that the best ones are on top. All in all, it was a good experience. I'm going to continue to do this throughout the summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go out and try it. Who doesn't want money and new clothes? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, here are all my social medias right here. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button down below. I'll see you guys next time.